you learn how to create an interactive calendar that look like this. So you have a calendar that starts from Monday to Sunday. When you hover over it, it looks like this. And if you to click on it, it will look like this. So if this is going to be a calendar that you find useful, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to create it. Let's go. The first thing that we need to do is to create that individual day that will be shown within the calendar. So to do that, we will need to use the text, add in a text. So let's say I put it as um, 31st. All right. We may right click on it and add auto layout. Now for this, I'm going to change it to fix width and fix height. And perhaps let me give it a fixed width and fixed height of, um, let's say 30 and 30. And make sure that the uh, alignment is center, right? right at the center, vertically and horizontally. Now, I would like to create a component out of it. Create component, add variant. So for the first um, hover effect that I would like, I would like it to be filled with a light blue. Okay, just like blue, like this. Now, click on the light blue and click Add Variant again. Now for this, I will change the text color, the font color to darker blue. To darker blue. And as for the background, I will change it to a darker blue like this. Okay, so once I'm done, I'm just going to call this um, Single Day. Now, for the, we're going to create some sort of interactions uh, between each of these individual day. So what we're going to do is, let's select the first one, click on prototype, and connect the first uh, component to the second one. Instead of on click, we're going to change it to while hovering. Okay, now, from this hovered um, component, we're going to connect it to the selected component. So this is going to be on click. Once on click, once we click on this, it's supposed to be changed to this. All right. Now, now that we have this um, component, here's what we're going to do. I will click on assets and search for single day. Drag it over here. Copy it, uh, perhaps uh, seven times. One, two. Let's create a seven copies of this. Okay. Make sure you have seven copies. So once you have seven copies. Select all of them, select all of them, and add auto layout. So you click on this frame, click on design, and make sure the horizontal gap between the items is changed to zero. Okay, for this, I'm just going to call it row. So for this row, let me copy it. I'm going to copy it and paste it and put it right below over here. Okay, maybe let me copy, um, ensure that there's like five rows. Just copy and paste and make sure there are like five rows of this. Now, select everything, select all the rows, right click and add auto layout. For the vertical gaps between the items, change it to zero. Okay, now here's what we need to do. I'm gonna change the name of the frame and call it calendar. For the first row, I'll rename, um, I'm gonna change it the text within the row, and let me just call this MON for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, as you can see right now, the text looks a little bit too big, so I will resize it and make it look a little bit smaller for this. Let me change it to perhaps uh, maybe 8, okay, 8px in my case. And I want to slightly bold it. Maybe let me use medium. Okay, maybe slightly semi bold. Okay, look something like this. All right. Now, let me change the day itself. Maybe this is one, two, three, four, 24, 25, 26, 27. It seems like we need one more row. Okay, I need one more row. This is going to be 28, 3, and 4, and so on. Okay. So now that we have our calendar, um, I'm going to give it a white background in this case, right? A white background. So let's see our calendar in action. So you select your calendar, click on prototype and click on flow starting point. 
So once you have this, I'm just going to rename the flow and rename it, call it demo and click on the play button to see what it looks like over here. Okay, let me put it up on full screen. So if I hover over, let's see what happens. It looks like this. Okay, it looks like a functions like a calendar. What happened if I have to select it? Let's say I select uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, from Tuesday all the way to Monday. It will look something like this. All right. So I hope that this uh, tutorial gives you a clear idea of how you can create an interactive calendars with just a few simple components. So if you find this video helpful, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel because I'll be creating more of such tutorials to teach you how to create useful components for your work or for your projects. See you in the next video. Here's a bonus tip for those of you who watched this far. Now, you notice that once you selected the any of the day, there is no way to unselect it. So to fix this problem, we only need to do one very simple thing, and that is to go to the go back to the component that we created. So you notice that for this component that we created, all we have to do is to link this, this last state, and link it back to the first one. And the interaction is going to be on click. Once you do this, if you go back to your prototype, click on it, you notice that now you can unselect it.